I feel so lucky to have this job today. And we also do need to talk about the weather outside because if you want chilly temperatures, you're going to want to head inside to Disney on Ice because things are almost balmy out there. I had someone come into the station this morning and say, Brie, why is it so warm outside? Well, we hit a daytime high of 57 degrees yesterday just before midnight. So it was warmest at the end of the day yesterday, and we've warmed up ever since then. So we started the day at 58 degrees in Boise, which could be our daytime high for today, about 10 to 15 degrees above average. And then we will cool down by the beginning of next week. So for now, with all of this wet weather moving in and the cloud cover, of course, keeping some of the daytime heating in from yesterday, we will see above average temperatures, breezy conditions, and you'll definitely want to grab an umbrella. You see from this map, though, that the Treasure Valley isn't getting a whole lot of precipitation. We're getting that rain shadow effect where the clouds move through, they dump on the mountains, and they miss the valleys for the most part. But the mountain locations are going to see lots and lots of rainfall when all is said and done with this system on Sunday. Current temperatures are very warm around the southwestern part of the state. 58 in Boise, 51 in Mountain Home, and also in Ontario. Even McCall, 42 degrees. So you see, not going to pull, not going to actually see any uh, snowfall there in the valley locations. Snow is going to stay above 6,500 to even 7,000 feet through this entire set when all is said and done with this storm as it moves through. The one thing that we need to pay attention to here is the windy conditions that will be associated with this system. As you see with the bigger picture here, that low pressure spinning in that counterclockwise direction is really driving that moisture in, but also driving in those strong winds with a tight pressure gradient. So that's what you can expect to see throughout the rest of today. So for the Treasure Valley, temperatures, as I said before, are staying well above average for this time of year in the mid to upper 50s throughout the day today. And again, a good chance of showers. We're going to see rain likely today, breezy conditions, but that wind coming out of the southeast, which means that it will help to drive those temperatures up above average. In the West Central Mountains, same story. Temperatures only driving into the lower 40s, so staying very mild for this time of year. Snow above 7,500 feet today and lowering to 6,500 tomorrow. East Central Mountains above 7,000 feet could see four to nine inches of snow. And in the Magic Valley, mostly cloudy today, a chance of those showers throughout the day and windy conditions as well. A quick look at the On Your Side extended forecast shows those temperatures staying above average throughout the weekend, cooling off a bit for Monday with a little more sunshine shine in the forecast and then scattered showers returning to the forecast for the middle of next week. So just like I said before, if you want to see snow, if you want to see ice, if you want to see a whole lot of magic and a lot of familiar characters and friends from Disney, then you're going to want to make it out to Taco Bell Arena. Oh my gosh, Lewis, look at that. I don't know how they have this much energy this early in the morning, but maybe they could teach me a thing or two. I'm going to stay right here for you guys and bring you more coming up in just a little bit. Spencer. All right. Thanks, Bree. We have energy in the morning. At least we hope but we also don't have to dance and skate. So yeah, puts things into perspective, I think, this morning. Thanks, Bree. It is 639 and still ahead on Good Morning.